Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name's Emmeline Troy and I am the Holistic Facialist. This week I wanted to talk to you about how to treat teen skins and I know I have a lot of clients who um, ask me loads of questions about their children and their teenagers and it, it can be a bit of a, and a difficult one knowing how to treat a teenager's skin, especially when they're breaking out they're getting oilier, they're getting blackheads, and it's all its all just a big battle against hormones, really. So as much as we are almost fighting a losing battle when it comes to hormones, I thought I would give my four top tips or four principles on how to look after a teen skin. So if you weren't interested, keep on watching. So I thought I'd do it via sort of four principles. I thought this is probably the easiest way to do it. The first thing we need to remember though is that every single teen is different and it all depends on their, their hormones, their lifestyle, their stress levels, how clean they are. Sometimes I know teenagers can be quite lazy and can't be, always be bothered. So every teen is different. But if we kind of look at your, your average teen, as it were, who is going through an oilier oilier phase, they're going through a lot of bodily changes, so and hormonal, mentally, um, blackheads, oiliness, spots, acne, will kind of fall in the stereotypical teen phase. And um, yeah, the first thing that I would recommend is doing a really good cleanse twice a day if possible. I know it can be hard to get teenagers to clean <laughs> themselves sometimes, but if you can, get them to do a cleanse twice a day. So ideally, when it comes to cleansers, I recommend something that is as gentle as possible, but you also want something that's effective. Now, Nim, you do a fantastic um, skin range called Youth, and it, they do cleansers and um, face creams, spot creams, all that sort of thing. So if you do have any interest in that and you want me to um, have a chat with you, by all means, you're more than welcome to email me at bookafacial at outlook.com. Um, but otherwise, you want to find a really nice gentle cleanser, something that contains salicylic acid. And salicylic acid is brilliant. It's like a, like a tornado and it comes along and it spins out and just cleans all the pore through. And that's what you need when you're struggling with that um, oily skin and those block pores. So salicylic acid cleansers are very good. You want something that is as gentle as possible, has the most minimal amount of fragrance. And I know teenagers prefer, or most younger people prefer, like a foamy gel cleanser. You want to avoid anything that's going to foam too much and anything with sodium lauryl sulfate, or we also call it SLS, because that's going to really dry the skin, irritate it, and just damage the skin's natural barrier, and we really don't want to do that. So look for a nice, gentle cleanser, avoiding any soaps. The only soap I... I, I don't want to say I recommend, but that could be an option, is something like a charcoal soap if they are struggling with spots and pimples. I'm always a bit wary when it comes to soaps and they generally have a lot of harsh ingredients. But if you can find one that's a little bit more oil based, a bit you know organic, then that's a potential option using like a charcoal one but otherwise the main one I would recommend is a salicylic acid cleanser because that's going to give you the best results and hopefully look for, say look something that's a bit more gentle on the skin. I wouldn't say they necessarily need to tone afterwards sometimes it can just be another step that's unnecessary and unless they're very 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 oily it's not always necessary in my opinion anyway. So if you can just get them to wash their face in the morning and before they go to bed, that's a great start. Using a salicylic acid cleanser just to really deep cleanse the pores and yeah, really give the skin a good clean. So that's the first thing. The second thing I would recommend is to hydrate the skin. You want to use a face cream that contains something like hyaluronic acid and that is also very, very lightweight. I wouldn't recommend using a really rich cream or don't just say, oh, you know, darling, just use use my cream because it's not designed for um, a teen skin. They do need something that's a lot lighter and more hydrating. I, um, I, I would be very careful in doing anything that's too rich only because it's just going to sit in the pores. And I would also be careful in saying to your, your child, 
just cleanse your face. Your face is so greasy, you don't need a moisturiser. You do still need to hydrate your skin. And I know some people say, oh, well, you know, you need to leave your skin and you want to let it breathe. But our skins don't have like a respiratory system. So there's no breathing uh, that needs to be done. So in that sense, they do still need to hydrate their skin. And even if they are quite oily, oil and hydration are two very different things. So they do need to hydrate their skin after they've done a cleanse. And even something like my face cream, um, and the Enjoy face cream, it's very light. It's um, got hyaluronic acid in, so that's gonna really hydrate the skin as well. So that's the second step. The third thing I would recommend is to treat the skin. So there's three different things you could do here. The first thing I would recommend is to do an exfoliation once a week if they're very, very oily and spotty, possibly twice, but start off with once a week. And um, I've shown you a million times the Nimue Exfoliating Enzyme. This is a really good cleanser because it's go um, exfoliator because it's going to help get rid of those blocked up dead skin cells. And I would recommend something that's more of an enzyme base than a granular one because if they are quite pimply and spotty, you don't want them scrubbing their skin and an enzyme just eats up dead skin cells and cleanses the pores that way instead of scratching it. When you start scratching it, you're gonna make them the skin more inflamed, more angry. Um, you can also spread spots as well. So I wouldn't recommend anything that's granular. Maybe go for more of like an enzyme. And you can also get enzyme peels as well. So that's not like a glycolic peel. It's just using fruit acids like um, pineapple and papaya just to help, um, just to dissolve those dead skin cells. Again, it's a lot more gentle. So I'd recommend a good enzyme exfoliator once a week. Then also doing a face mask once a week would be very good. Something that's just nice and purifying. Um, clay based would be good and it's also got some, maybe some tea tree or some lavender. Anything like that should, you know, should be fine. A nice clay mask once a week. And, you know, don't, don't kind of, I'm not saying you're going to isolate your child, but it, you can feel quite isolated when you're struggling or quite lonely when you've got spotty skin especially if the rest of your family don't and you know you, you, it almost makes you feel I don't want to say like an outsider but you, you're very uncomfortable in your own skin and especially when you're going through all those changes with your hormones and that age and all those things it's nice if you can do something once a week and almost make it like a bit of fun so maybe do a facial with the family, you know, once a week, um, do an exfoliation, everyone puts a mask on, it's a bit of a laugh and you all kind of, you know, strut around your lounge with a face mask on, do some selfies, you know, kind of make everyone join in and make it more fun and, you know, you're all going to benefit from doing a face mask once a week, that's, you know, that's a, a taken, um, a given, sorry, not a taken, um, but if you can get your, your teens to do a face mask once a week, they'll see an improvement. It's just going to help to clean out the pores again, um, get rid of any excess oil, and, and just give them a better result with their skin. So the face mask is the second thing. And the third thing I would recommend is doing a really good spot treatment. So if they find that they have got quite a few spots, using a good spot cream is brilliant. Um, this is the Nimu Y Skin, their youth range, which is fantastic. It's got um, salicylic acid in as well. Again, it just spins and cleans out the pore and gives a really, really good result. It can get rid of spots in two or three days, and um, sometimes overnight if you're lucky as well, depending on the size of the spot. So I recommend doing that as your treat. So do an exfoliation, a face mask, and then a spot cream once or twice a day as well on those little pimples. Anything that's just gonna take out any inflammation. The fourth thing I would recommend is to protect the skin. You might think, do they really need some protection? They're gonna be sat in a classroom all day. It's, it's gray outside, it's a bit dull. It's, you know, it's not sunny, they're not on holiday, they don't need it. And um, your teen might argue, I don't wanna put another layer on, I can't be bothered. <laughs> you do need a sun protection on every single day, no matter how old you are. And teenagers especially, because they are, they generally are out a lot with their friends. And they've got the blue lights from their phones, laptops, tablets, all that sort of thing. 
and then if they've got pimples that they've been picking and then they go out in the sun, there's a good chance they're going to scar and pigment. So you do want to make sure they're protecting their skin with a good sun protection. Um, I recommend the Nimue SPF. It's an SPF of 40. Um, it doesn't block the pores. It's not going to cause acne. You know, I use it on clients who have acne and it, you know, they don't have any problem with it. So I really recommend a good sun protection. They're teenagers, they're young, and their skin is so new still and vulnerable. So if you can protect it at that age, it'll do them so much good for in the future. So definitely, definitely recommend using a sun protection every single day. Um, yeah. So I think that's all my products, yeah. I think that's everything I wanted to say. So if you can try and get your teen to do this routine, and even if you're struggling with, you know, pimply skin yourself and you're not a teenager, it's still a good routine. So doing a good cleanse twice a day, hydrating the skin with a very light but hydrating moisturiser, treating the skin once a week with um, exfoliation, face mask that's nice and purifying and a good spot treatment, and then finally protecting the skin with a good sun protection. Um, if they wear makeup, I would recommend they avoid makeup primers. Just I know there's a lot of mattifying ones that get rid of the shine, but they're just going to block the pores and aggravate the skin. And if they want to wear foundation, then make sure it's a non-comedogenic foundation so it's not going to block their pores at all. They need to make sure they're washing their makeup brushes as well, regular, just so they don't spread any spots and bacteria. And make sure they wash it off before they go to bed because I can guarantee if I go to sleep and I've got um, makeup on, not that I've done that in years and years, but I will guarantee wake up with one or two spots. So definitely wash the face before they go to bed. Um, I hope you found this interesting, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon.